गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज मंदीप कौर फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट टू दिस टॉपिक बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस टॉपिक आई जस्ट वांट टू टेल यू व्हाट वी हैव ऑलरेडी फिनिश्ड and just today we have started the new chapter linear equation and in this chapter we have discussed about the definition of the linear equation and after that we have discussed the three methods of solving the linear equation the first method is trial and error method the second method is systematic method and the last one is transposition method so yesterday we have already discussed about how to solve the linear equation by using the trial and error method now today we will discuss about the systematic method systematic method and secondly the transposition method secondly the transposition method trans position method so in this lecture we will solve the linear equation by using these two method firstly systematic method we have given the linear equation that is 2x plus 12 equal to 20 now we have to solve this linear equation by using the systematic method we have to use the systematic method so to solve this one firstly you have to look at this left hand side here is 2x plus 12 so you have to look at the left hand side and you have to solve it in this way that your left hand side only the value of x should be there at the end at the end so the first step is here is positive value you have to look you have to look at the constant value in the left hand side here is positive 12 if there is positive 12 you have to subtract 12 on both side that you can easily move the value of 12 because we have to find the value of x so that in the left hand side only x should be there so in which way the value of x should be there firstly you have to remove all the constant value from the left hand side here is positive 12 so in which way we can remove the positive 12 you have to subtract 12 on both sides so firstly remove this 12 according to the systematic method firstly subtract 12 on both sides subtract 12 on both sides not on the left hand side you have to do it on both sides if it is positive 12 you have to subtract 12 if here is negative 12 you have to add because in this way we can vanish the constant value so it becomes here is 2x plus 12 now what we have to do we have to subtract 12 on both sides so minus 12 in this side also 20 minus 12 now look at here positive minus positive 12 negative 12 both are cancelled so we have vanished the constant value and we have on the left hand side is 2x and in this side we have 20 minus 12 that is 8 now i am going to repeat this again that we have to find the value of x only that means in the left hand side the value of x should be there but in this side look at here the coefficient of x is 2 the coefficient of x is 2 so we have to vanish this 2 also now it is multiplied with x the coefficient 2 is multiplied with x so in which way we can remove this 2 by dividing we have to divide 2 on both sides so divide 2 on both side if it is multiplied you have to divide if it is in the form of division you have to do its multiplication so that you can easily remove its coefficient okay now look at here we have to divide so it becomes 2x by 2 and in this side becomes 8 by 2 now look at here 2 and 2 both are cancelled 2 and 2 and only x is there only x is there and here is 2 4 is 8 so by using the systematic method the value of x is 4 now come to the next question that you can understand it easily in which way we have to solve the linear equation by using the systematic method now come to the next question of this worksheet okay and the next one is 3y minus 4 equal to 16 here is 3y minus 4 equal to 16 is there now the variable is y variable is y so in the left hand side only y should be there at the end because we have to find the value of y so firstly we have to remove 
all the constants from the left hand side and the, there will be changes in the right hand side automatically now here is negative 4 so in the first step what we have to do we have to add 4 on both sides because here is negative then we have to add if here is positive then we have to be subtract so adding 4 on both sides adding 4 on both side so it becomes here is 3y minus 4 is as it is what we have to do we have to add 4 we have to add 4 on both the sides now here is negative and positive both are cancelled only 3y is there and in this side 16 plus 4 that is 20 now we have to find the value of y only so we have to remove this 3 also now 3 is multiplied with y 3 is multiplied with y. So in the next step, what we have to do? We have to divide 3 on both sides. So divide 3 on both sides. So it becomes here is 3 by over 3. And in the right hand side, it becomes 20 by 3. Now both 3's are cancelled. So the value of y is 20 by 3. So, our answer is y equal to 20 by 3. So, we have solved this linear equation by using the systematic method. Now, come to the next question of this worksheet. Okay, the next one is we have 2x plus 3. Sorry, 2x by 3. 2x by 3 plus 16 equal to 30. Again, we have to solve this linear equation by using the systematic method. Now, look at here. Firstly, we have to concentrate the constant value on the left hand side. Here is positive 16. So, what we have to do? We have to subtract 16 on both sides. So, in the first step, subtract 16 on both sides. So, if we come here is 2x by 3, here is positive 16 and what we have to do, we have to subtract 16. In this side also, subtract 16. Now, look at here, positive and negative 16, both are cancelled and only 2x by 3 is there. And in this side, 30 minus 16, that is 14. So, 30 minus 16, that is 14. Now, look at here, we have to find the value of x only. We have to find the value of x only. Here is 2 by 3. So we have to remove the 2 by 3. In which way we have to remove this 2 by 3? We have to multiply it with it by 3 by 2. We have to multiply it by 3 by 2. Because whenever we will do it, multiply 3 by 2. 3 and 3 both are cancelled and 2 and 2 both are cancelled. So after that, what we have to do? We have to do multiply 3 by 2. Multiply 3 by 2 on both sides. Because we have to find the value of x. Here is 2 by 3. You have to multiply by its reciprocal. In this way you can easily remove all these values and there should be the value of x only. So here is 2x by 3. You have to multiply it by 3 by 2. In this side also 14 multiply 3 by 2. Now look at here 3 and 3 both are cancelled. 2 and 2 both are cancelled. Only x is there is equal to. Now here is 2 1s are 2 and here is 2 7s are 14. So it becomes 7 3s are 21 which is our required answer. Now come to the next question of this worksheet. Okay now let's start the next method. We have to solve the linear equation by using the transposition method. So, come to the first question of this uh, uh, method, uh, how to solve the linear equation by transposition method. The first linear equation is 2z plus 22 equal to 12. Now, we have to solve this linear equation by using the transposition method. And that one is one of the easiest method to solve the linear equation by using the transposition method. Now, we have to find the value of variable. That means we have to find the value of z. Here is 2z plus 22 is there. Here is 22 is equal to 12. So, according to the transposition method, what we have to do? You have to take the variable on the left hand side. Here is 2z. Here is plus 22 on the right side. It becomes minus 20 because transposition. That means we have to interchange its positions. 
If it is in the left hand side, on the right side, it will become negative. If in this side it is positive, it will become negative. If in this side it is negative, it will become on the right side, it will be positive. So here is positive, in this side it will become negative. Transposition, you have to change their places. Here is positive 22, in the right side become negative 22. Here is 2z equal to. Now after subtracting this, we will get minus of 10 and now we have to find the value of z. In this side it is multiplied with 2. On the right side it will be divided. So the value of z is 2, 5, z, 10. That means the value of z is minus 5. Now come to the next question. The b part of this question is we have 2x minus 4 is equal to 46. Again we have to solve this linear equation by using the transposition method. Now look at here. Here is negative 4. In the right side it becomes positive 4. So 2x is equal to 46 plus 4. So it becomes 2x is equal to 50. Now 2 is multiplied with this variable x. So in this side it will be divided. So the value of x is 50 divided by 2. That means the value of x is 25 which is the required answer. Now come to the next question of this worksheet that you can understand it easily in which we have to solve the linear equation by using the transposition method. Now the next one is we have 3x by 6 minus 8 is equal to 15. Now look at here. Here is negative 8. On the right side it will be positive. If there is negative on the right side it will be positive. Here is 3x by 6 is equal to 15 plus 8. So it becomes 3x by 6 is equal to 20. Three. Now, here is 6 divided in this side. 6 is divided in this side. So, it in this side it will be multiplied. So, 3x is equal to 23 multiply 6. It is divided in this side, in left hand side. So, in the right side it will be multiplied. Now, 3 is multiplied in the left hand side with variable x. So, in the right hand side it will be divided. So, here is 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. So the value of x is 23 multiply 2, 23 multiply 2 that is 46 which is our required answer. Hope so that all of you have been cleared about all these questions in which way we have to solve the linear equation by using these methods. Thank you so much everyone.